What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Haley, and today I'm going to be sharing my sneaker collection, which I am super excited about. I've gotten a few requests to do this video in the past, so I'm finally here. I felt like I wasn't ready to do it because I have like a very baby sneaker collection, and I was like, oh, it's too small to share, but I love talking about them, so... Why not? Here we are. I am by no means a sneakerhead. I just want to throw it out there because I know like the sneaker community is like intense. I didn't really start getting into sneakers until like last year. I don't know what happened. Like quarantine really awoke something inside of me. So I don't really know much about shoes. I just know that I love them and I'm excited to talk about my little growing collection with you guys today and share some of my favorites. First of all, I built this little like shelving unit. It's actually three of these shelves here um, along my wall. My wall has like a little pocket and I had this vision for all of my shoes and my bags and stuff and I am already outgrowing this little shelving unit. So I think in a few months here I'm probably gonna have to switch it up a little bit and get a little bit more storage but I'm going to link first of all I'm gonna link all the shoes that I mentioned in today's video down below as well as a shelving unit um, it's kind of hard to explain what I did but these are 35 bucks each from Target I actually bought four of them and used the shelves from the fourth unit um, and just kind of combined it into these three units, if that makes sense. Um, just to have a little bit more space. I wish the Target sold the shelves separately, just so I could continue to like add them in here. Um, but I had to buy a whole other unit to kind of make it work for me. So, nevertheless, the shelving units are super cheap and affordable and got the job done. So, happy for that. But yeah, like I said, I'm already starting to kind of outgrow it and like on the bottom, you can't really see here, I have like heels and slides and like my boots at the top. So I think I'm probably going to have to move those out as I keep collecting sneakers. Um, and I'm not going to share my heels or boots or anything like that in today's video, but if you guys want a part two to see like the rest of my shoes, let me know and I can do that for you guys. So just getting into it, I'm probably not going to continue in like chronological order of when I got everything, but these were of course the shoes that started the obsession, the Air Force Ones. Um, I remember at the time I was seeing these all over social media. You guys know Air Force Ones had their moment, they're still having their moment. And I found these on Depop actually. Somebody custom painted the little swoosh and it has a Louis Vuitton monogram in it. I was like, that is so cute. So these were like my first sneaker purchase outside of like old school vans, you know what I mean? Um, and I love them. These are still such a staple in my collection and so versatile, even with the little pink swoosh. Um, they really made me get into Nikes in general and I still love them very much. After I got the painted ones and was wearing them all the time, I was like, okay, I need to finally just get a plain white pair so that I can wear them with everything. And I ended up getting the Sage Lows. These are actually a little bit more platform, which I really love. I love shoes with a platform. You will see that is kind of like a theme throughout here. So these became the new staple. They literally just go with everything. Like if you were packing a bag for vacation and you needed one shoe, they would go with everything. I would say, these are probably my one shoe or my platform Converse. Both are so good, so versatile. We'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, I love these. Can't go wrong. I really just do love like the thicker sole on these as well. So yeah. Continuing on with the rest of the Air Force ones in my collection. These pink foam ones are still one of my favorite pairs in my collection. I think pink is just so cute. These were a struggle to find at first. I eventually found them on StockX. Um, but I was so confused when I first started collecting because they were only available in grade school sizing, which I'm sure most of you know, but if you don't, here's the best hack of the day for you. Grade school sizing goes up to like a women's 9 or 10, I believe. You end up paying less for the same shoe. I'm a woman size 7 and I wear a 5.5 in grade school sizing and it is the best hack because of course kids sizes are cheaper. These normally retail I think for like 85 bucks in grade school sizing but when I found them on StockX, you guys already know how to pay the premium. I paid like 150 for these and I have no regrets. 
They're still a favorite of mine. I think they are so cute. Another pair of custom Air Force Ones, a sweet follower of mine sent these to me. She is unreal. These are hand painted. I love this tone of pink on the swoosh. And then it has like these reflective Playboy bunnies in rose gold. These are adorable. Finally, my last pair of Air Force One have like the platform to them, which I love. And I got these at the beginning of summer. I was so excited about these because the yellow just screams summer to me. And it has these little charms on here that say Nike on them. I just thought it was so cute and so fun for summer. So these were pretty recent. I got these like May or June of this year and I love them so much. The next pair I have are another favorite of mine and this one in particular I get a ton of compliments on anytime I wear them out. You guys love these shoes as well. These are the Jordan Mids in iridescent so when you take like a flash photo the like black lining that you see here it lights up. It's iridescent. It is so cool, so beautiful. Um, so these are one of the most unique shoes in my collection but also this is when I started to really get into sneakers um, my boyfriend actually got these for me for my birthday last year and these are still my favorites I think they're so cool I think these are also the most expensive shoes that I have in my collection as well and I'm obsessed these these are the best next I have these Nike 2k zoom sneakers I actually bought these in 2019 before I like even cared about sneakers knew anything I literally happened upon these randomly at like a Foot Locker in Vegas like on the Vegas strip and I was like those are so cute I ended up falling in love with these when I found them at the mall because I was obsessed with the color lilac at the time and I like dyed my hair lilac shortly after finding these this was really just like a random find and I just love these they are still so cute and it's really hard to find like this colorway now um, I've seen a few like similar pairs on StockX but I have like a hard time finding this lilac tone so it was really like a good find. I have these two. I actually bought these at the exact same time. Um, but these are the only new balances in my collection. I'm currently eyeballing the 550s that everybody is currently eyeballing. These are the 574s, I think, in light gray. Um, but I like how they have like this dusty blue gray sort of tone and the cream. I just think these are so adorable and they are so so comfortable i love these these are the 570s i end up wearing this pair more just because the colorway it's just more versatile it matches so many different things like i could throw this on with this outfit right now and it would look fine um again super comfortable shoes i think that they're really cute i do feel like a mom when i wear them but i kind of love that for me <laughs> next up i got these air maxes i love that they have like this pastel rainbow to them I can't remember the exact name. It's the Air 270s, I think in like Arctic Punch or something like that. I might be making that up, I don't know. Um, but these are just so cute. I haven't really worn them out much. I'm like scared to mess them up, honestly, because they're so white and pretty, but they're so cool. I have like little pastel rainbow moments going on all over the shoe, on the back of the shoe, the little pink swoosh, so cute. Um, the colors of this one I just think is adorable. Next up, we have to talk about the Platform Converse. Like I was saying with the Air Force One Sage Lows, I feel like this is such a good staple where you could bring either pair of these and it'll go with literally any outfit in your suitcase. Like they're such a versatile shoe. Um, the black ones, I definitely wear a little more than the white ones. I feel like these go good with everything. Again, could wear it with this outfit. I could wear this with a dress. I could wear it with yoga pants, sweatpants, skirt, shorts, whatever. I just think these look good with everything. Will say they are so hard to find in stock. Like you have to keep up on it. Let me tell you. Um, it took me a while to find a black pair that was in stock. Normally, I feel like the white one is, but these are a hassle to find. However, if you can get a hold of them, I definitely recommend you buy them. Jump at them ASAP. Like, it's just a perfect staple to have. At the beginning, I mentioned that I used to only wear Vans, and I still love my Vans. I have most of them still, like, in my closet downstairs. I just don't find myself reaching for them as often or wearing them as often, but I will always have a soft spot in my heart for my Vans. I have some really cool ones, like, 
Vans would come out with so many cool collabs like their Nightmare Before Christmas collab. I still have those. Lazy Oaf collab that was iconic. I still have all of those, but the only pair that I really find myself wearing anymore are the platform old school sneakers. These again, another good staple. A versatile shoe, goes with everything, they look good, and they're iconic. I feel like you have to have a pair of old schools in your collection. While we're on the topic of sneakers that I don't really wear anymore, I have to mention these. These are the Nike Janowskis. Um, I actually only bought these because Hugo has a pair of them and I was like, let's be twins, let's match. I don't like how these look on me. I literally never wear them. I probably need to sell them because they basically look brand new. Um, I just feel like, I don't know. There's something about the sole in them. Like they're not comfortable and I feel like, I don't know, like my foot is too high in them. Not like platform high, like it just doesn't fit in the shoe right high, if that makes sense. Um, so these are not a favorite of mine. While we're on the topic of sneakers I don't really wear anymore, I have to mention the Fila Disruptors. These were the first pair of Disruptors that I ever bought. I saw them like floating around on Twitter and I was like, those are amazing. I need them. This was like the height of Fila Disruptors on social media where I feel like everybody was really obsessed with them and then like a few months later, they were gone. Um, I don't really care about like trends like that. Like if I like a shoe, I'm gonna keep wearing them. I just don't find myself wearing these anymore because one, I don't really love how they look on my feet, how they make my feet look. Um, but I also have a really hard time finding things that match these and look good with them. Um, this was also like, I bought these at the like hype of my pastel stage. I had pink hair. Everything I wore was like pastel pink and cutesy. Um, so these these made sense at the time. Now I feel like they just don't make sense for my life. Same thing with these. I actually, like I can't get rid of these because I think they're really fun even though I don't see myself wearing them again. Um, these, were, these were a moment, little tie-dye babies. I wore these last summer and I feel like they had their time. And these are the other two pairs that I have. Same thing, just feel like I have kind of outgrown these but I feel like I had to mention them, you know? I do have these Fila's though, and I actually have no idea what these are called. Fila actually sent these to me, um, but this is one pair that I still wear and I love. The color is just so perfect, and these are so comfortable. Um, they're very similar to feel uh, like the New Balances. It's like walking on a cloud. I love them. The color is just so good though. Right, we're starting to get to the end. I only have my blazers left and then my Nike Dunks. So I'm going to start with the blazer mids. Um, this was the first pair of blazers that I ever bought and I love them. This is another shoe that's really comfortable, um, but I have to mention that this is like the hardest shoe to put on your foot it takes me so long to put this freaking shoe on my foot that i feel like i don't find myself wearing them as often just because it's so annoying to put on they're cute though so that's why i was super excited when i found these these came out pretty recent like this is one of my most recent pairs of shoes um these are the blazer low platforms you know what I was saying earlier? I love the platforms. So I snagged these up. These are really cool. I like that you can actually see like the foam on the tongue. A lot of people were like not super into that, but I think it's a really cool touch. Um, if you buy the grade school sizing, they actually don't have that, which is interesting. Um, so if you're a person that is bothered by the foam, try to get grade school sizing um, and they come normal. But I think it's cool. Again, I just really like the platforms. I think this is a really flattering shoe, very versatile, and they look so good. So good that I did end up getting another pair of blazers. I'm very into the color green right now. I feel like, especially since I just went dark with my hair, green is about to have its moment. Like it just, it just looks good, you know? Um, so these are not the platforms, obviously. These are just the regular lows. And I think they're so cute. When I bought this pair, I actually bought a pair for Hugo as well. So we could be twinning again, which, you know, is great because now I can get rid of our old twinning shoe that I don't wear, the freaking Janowskis. But I was so dead set on having like this matching pair of shoes. Um, it was impossible to find these in my size that I actually sized up to a boy's size six 
normally i'm a 5.5 i was like i didn't play a half size like what difference will it make i'm so glad that i got a half size because these feel almost too tight so i feel like this is a shoe that i would recommend sizing up like a half size or a full size um because they are just a little bit tight which was interesting because these are my normal size and i didn't have any issue with that so kind of weird um these are boys sizing i don't know i almost forgot to mention these shoes this is actually my most recent pair of sneakers i got these like two weeks ago so they're the new babies i'm obsessed with them i know people will probably not love them as much as i do but i'm obsessed with how 80s they look like the colors are so cool the inside is all black velvet like all this lining right here black velvet on the back they have like a black shoelace and a cute little bow um the aglets on the shoelaces here are pastel purple like the colors are just so pretty there's that green again that i'm loving i am obsessed with this shoe it is like my new favorite right now oh and the bottoms are really cool i don't know if you can really tell but it just kind of looks like i don't know kind of like asphalt but a, with a lot of gum stuck to it if that makes sense i don't know i think they're so cool you guys i feel like they just look like a fall sneaker you know like i'm really excited to wear them for the fall season moving on to the dunks these are the last ones that i have to mention three more I'll start with these. These were actually a surprise gift from Hugo. He like randomly ordered them for me and they showed up and I was so excited. These are so cool. These are like the only pair in my entire collection that I actually have not worn out yet. Like I just haven't found the right outfit yet. But these are the Easter candy dunks. I love the colors on them. They're so cool. Um, another pair of really unique shoes. The bottom looks like a jawbreaker. These are amazing. These are so sick. A lot of my stuff is like really pastel, you might have noticed. And I love that these are just like so neon and vibrant and fun. Like these are the coolest. These, however, were my first pair of Nike Dunks. These were also gifted to me by Hugo. This is the Barely Green colorway. And again, pastel. I love the pastels. These are gorgeous. I like that it's like a minty uh colorway with like the corally swoosh it's like a peachy coral i don't know how to describe it i was just gonna say that this is the pair of dunks that i've worn the most but i just realized that this pair of dunks i also have not worn out either this is another like newer shoe um so those are the easter candy these are the only dunks that i've actually worn i just realized i think like the tone of this shoe just makes it kind of like easier to match up with things and like pair with certain outfits so that's probably why I have only worn this one out. Okay, and the last shoe that I have to share with you guys is my newest pair of dunks. Um, I think I got this like last month. Hugo and I always enter like the drawings on the sneakers app, of course, and he randomly won these. So technically this is another gifted shoe from Hugo. I have not paid for a single pair of dunks apparently, um, but to be fair, I did also win him a pair of dunks on the sneakers app as well. Um, I should see if I can go find those really quick because those are really cool. I gotta show you guys. Anyways, these I think are like the light pink. I think they're just called light pink. I can't remember. Um, but I like that it has like the lavender swoosh. By now you know that I love the color lavender and of course the pink. Um, but this is like a nice little lime green. I feel like it does not show up true to color anywhere i've tried to take so many photos and videos of this freaking shoe it's probably not going to turn out on this video either um but they are so much prettier in person because when i first saw them on the sneakers app i was like oh those are really cool and then they arrived and i was like those are really cool like they just look so much better in person i love them okay i'm gonna go see if i can go steal hugo's dunks to show you really quick because that was a really cool find, so BRB. Okay, I've returned. Um, he actually had two really cool shoes that I'm gonna share with you guys. Um, the first one is the pair that I bought him. These I really wish that I bought for myself, if I'm being honest. I like that they're different on each shoe. They're like a really cool camo, multicolor, the green, it's so good. Like these are so, so sick. I'm obsessed with them. Look at this green. It's so good. 
This was truly a score and these are the only pair of shoes that I've ever won on the sneakers app. So you're welcome Hugo. Hugo is like a star on the sneakers app though. I'm going to show you guys another pair of shoes that he won and is currently selling. <laughs> this is the other pair that he won. They just, they don't look super great on him if I'm being honest. Um, so if you guys are interested in buying, these are men's size 10. Hit me up. <laughs> also, I realized I forgot to mention these. I didn't know they were worth mentioning. These are the Reebok Club C's. These are the shoes that I wear everywhere. They're like my beat up shoes um, that I don't mind getting dirty or like tearing up a little bit. They're super comfortable. They're really cute. And I feel like these are like one shoe that looks really good when you beat them up. Some shoes just look a little bit better, a little bit more broken in. Like Converse, for example, they just look a little bit better, a little bit beat up. Anyway, so sorry for the long-winded video, but I hope you enjoyed seeing my sneaker collection. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. But I'm going to link as many as I can in the description box, as well as these shelving units. So be sure to check that out. Um, we'll have to do a part two pretty soon here as my collection expands. So looking forward to that. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye!